Hi guys, in this video we are going to talk about developing a custom skill which talks to the backend and which gets data from a web service and uh, speech it back to you. In my last video we have seen uh, developing a skill which handles static data. Static data is not always that great. In real time world we need dynamic information that is we need some web service which provides the necessary information to our skills so here we are going to discuss a skill which fetches some information from a web service and give it back to you okay let me first explain what this skill does i have one api here which is called api.funnytranslations.com what it does is it will take a sentence as an input and give a funny translation as an output so translations can be like as you see here this particular for this particular translation i choose yoda of uh, star wars as the theme and if you pass the sentence master obi-wan has lost a planet you will get a translated sentence as lost a planet master obi-wan has like the way yoda speaks in the movie similarly you have different themes like minion uh, pirate etc which is like fun you uh, make a sentence and it will translate and give back a funny translation so that's what we are going to do here right now so our uh, skill will talk to aws lambda backend and aws lambda will fetch the information or the translated uh, sentence from this api okay i have the skill already developed here i will walk you through the main parts okay let's go to the developer console skill section here I have the funny translation uh, skill already in place let's go into that okay we are in the dashboard so let's go to the invocation name so I have the inv invocation name as funny translation <coughs> I have an intent called set endpoint here in the set endpoint it will accept the user choice like uh, whether the user want Yoda translation, pirate or minion and that input is taken in the endpoint slot. So if you go to the endpoint, you can see I have given some possible options here so that it can match easily. <coughs> then I have the get translation intent. So the the sample utterance is like translate followed by a sentence and sentence is also a literal uh, sorry uh, sentence is also a slot so if you go to the sentence slot here i i have provided a list of possible values uh, since amazon has deprecated the literal option uh, you have to give uh, a possible list I just give some possible sentence which include this translate uh, keyword also uh, that's all about the interaction model I have two intent one to choose the uh, the type of uh, translation the next one to fetch the actual translation and uh, display I mean give it back to the user okay now let's go to the AWS lambda function so I am in the lambda management console you can see all the created functions here uh, in between for those who doesn't know how to create a skill and AWS Lambda function, 
please check out my first video i will post the link in the description okay so let me choose the get translation function okay this is my lambda function which is written in node.js so i have included the alexa sdk here and this is the main part for http handling so i have included the http module these are some of the constants value like skill name uh, then help message prompt message more message or a few constants here then i have defined the endpoints here like if a person says yoda uh, i have to attach uh, yoda.json to the end of this endpoint then like like that i have i am supporting yoda pirate and minion uh, endpoints then I am setting the default endpoint as minion and these are the handlers so once you get a launch request I'm just uh, telling a welcome speech so what this welcome speech will do is uh, it will first welcome the user That's it. yeah hello uh, welcome to funny translation please choose uh, translation from the following list and I will tell like you the pirate and minion And I will wait for the response from the user once the user uh, tells uh, Yoda pirate or minion uh, the set endpoint uh, intent which we have defined in in our skill set my choice is or if uh, the user just tells Yoda or if the user just uh, user tells I choose Yoda all this will invoke set endpoint intent and once you are in the set endpoint intent, we will fetch the value from the slot and we will do some basic check. I am just converting the uh, text from to lowercase so that it matches in all the cases. And you are setting the endpoint over here in this uh, section and you will tell like okay I have uh, set your choice and now please say translate this is our trigger point followed by a sentence to translate so now when the user uh, tells it uh, like translate and followed by a sentence your get translation function or uh, get translation intent uh, get invoked here I, I am creating a query uh, statement uh, final final uh, query I mean final API call would look like this api.funnytranslation.com translate the type and the text what is the actual text which needs to be translated so that is what I am doing here and finally I am doing a HTTP get call so once I receive the response I will construct another speech and return back and I am just adding one uh, cartoon effect which is a sound uh, which I have defined here uh, like audio effects that's all uh, with this that's all the basic thing about this function and uh, other things like help message function stop etc remains the same like if you if someone says help uh, you'll be told like please uh, you can say translate followed by a sentence to translate or you can exit and if you say stop or uh, <coughs> unhandle unhandle also will uh, respond as a help message Now this is the place where you are creating or constructing the uh, query. 
the HTTP get function so I'm setting the host and the query which we have created in the other function and then making the uh, request here uh, once you have got the request you will pass back the request to the uh, Alexa for uh, constructing the speech and this API has one drawback uh, like since it is a free API it allows only five uh, request per hour so if that uh, requests are exhausted I am just sending like my sources are tired ask after some time and if there is any error I am just logging it I am not sending any response back so that's all with the skills now let's get it tested and yeah before we test it uh, there is something which I have to tell you uh, to check the logs uh, since you don't have any possibility to put breakpoints or debug here the only way is you have to add logs at specific uh, points so once you have added logs if you go to the cloud watch click on logs you will be able to see all the logs from the functions that you have created so click on the function you can see the logs here like see I am setting the name setting the endpoint response string calling get translation extra so this way you can uh, debug any issues now let's test this hello welcome to funny translations please choose the translations to use from the following list Yoda pirate minion Okay, I will use your choice. Please say translate followed by a sentence to translate. Minion says, Bello Amy Namatu. That's all with the testing. Thanks for watching the video. I will put all the necessary uh, links in the description. Please try it out and if in doubts, put some comments. Thank you.